Without this tablet, there might not even be a YouTube channel here anymore. This kind of this kind of put us back on track. Either way, it looks like a new version of the iPad Pro will be coming out in the coming months, and when it comes right down to it, if you are thinking about getting one, you should probably definitely wait until the new version comes out before going out and buying a 2020 model. So uh, why is that? Let's find out. According to Macworld, they believe a new iPad Pro is coming as it's been over a year since the last release, so April is very much on the cards. We're expecting an April event or even an online press release for the new iPad Pro. You should get it now or wait for the next generation version that's rumored to be coming out sometime later this year. And We're gonna talk about all the things that we know about the iPad Pro for 2021, as well as some information on the iPad Mini 6, as well as the Apple AirTags and the AirPod 3. So there's a lot of things to cover, and the iPad has been one of those categories that has really done well for Apple because the Pro has been very well designed. We still don't know the exact date of the launch, but mostly because are suggesting that it's gonna be April and that we'll see an iPad Pro 2021 alongside the AirTags and the AirPods. Now, code was found inside iOS 14.5 beta last week, and this references a new chip believed to be for the iPad Pro, so launch has to be soon. While codenamed 13G, it's believed to be the new A14X chipset, and it's going to be delivering a performance on par with the M1. Now, of course, there are also people who think that they could be holding out until June the 7th and release the iPad Pro at WWDC, but personally, I just don't think this is the case. The time or 1 p.m. Eastern, and the crazy part about this event is that hours before the invites went out, Siri actually leaked the existence of this event when you asked Siri about the Apple event. So I guess Apple is gonna have to fire Siri now for leaking this event. Rest in peace, Siri. You were a... Uh... Well, I think the first and most obvious product we can expect out of this event is a new iPad Pro. Now, as for when we can expect to see these 2021 iPad Pros released, Mark Gurman says that we can expect these to be released as early as April. And my guess is that this means in April, but he only wrote that to kind of leave room for manufacturing issues or just, you know, uncontrollable, unforeseen events where Apple would push back this product. I think he knows that they're coming in April, but he can't say for sure because there could be some unforeseen events. So he has to say, you know, bye, just to give himself some leeway, give himself some space in case there was an error. So he's not technically wrong. And then we also have John Prosser who says an April event is coming as well. Now he did say that there was a March event coming and he was wrong about that. But the fact that Mark Gurman also says something is coming in April leads me to believe that there is probably an event in April where Apple will announce the new 2021 iPad Pro, among other things. We still don't know if Apple's gonna drop anything in April or not. I mean, you can notice how everyone is pretty much cooled off on that now, but all eyes are still on the new iPad Pros and yeah, AirTags, because Apple just made an official announcement about their Find My platform, and we will get to that. But first, let's talk all about the new iPad Pros and iPad Mini after Apple leaker Sonny Dixon has revealed the first images of dummy models for what's believed to be the new 2021 iPad Pros and an iPad Mini 6. Now, tipped to release an iPad Mini Pro. You never saw that coming, Will. No. You never imagined such a thing. You realize the iPad mini, they don't even care about the iPad mini. They just leave it the same all the time. iPad mini, what, what, it got a little bit faster, but it looks like 1997 in there. All expecting an online only Apple April event sometime this month, which is definitely weird since Apple usually has an event in March, but that obviously didn't happen. Even though so many people were so sure that we'd have one on March 23rd, and eyebrows were shaved because of it. But thankfully, more and more puzzle pieces are coming together, so we're now almost 100% sure that we're getting an Apple April event. 